Hey all, welcome back to the channel Rich Core 3. Hope you're doing good guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm building the Titanic from Ashit Heartworks. If you're not already subscribed guys, please remember to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button and feel free to comment and share the video. I'd really appreciate that and please remember to give us a big, big like because it helps the channel grow basically guys. But without further ado, let's crack on with the Titanic build from Ashit Heartworks. Okay, we're going to jump straight into this week's issue of the Build the Titanic. But as you can see here, guys, right under on top of the desk, this is what we did in the last issue. Not all of it, obviously, but this is where we're at with the last issue. We've got all this deck in here. As you can see now, guys, it's too big just to put in one shot. Um, but I thought I'd show you just this little recap of what I did last week. In case you ain't already seen the video. If you ain't, guys, check it out. It's on the channel. But just this section here... This is what we was doing last week. But watch the video, guys, and you will see what we did in the video last week. But this is just part of the Titanic so far, what I've got built. There's still more just over there, which I ain't even got on the screen. There is loads to this build already, guys, and it's getting huge, and it's a massive build. And when it is built, it is going to be so cool. So what I'm going to do is just move these off the desk. We'll crack on, look through the mag, and then get this building this week for issue 50. Right, so here we have it guys, all sealed, not undone as yet, the Titanic build from Ashit Parkworks, issue 50. You know guys, regulars to the channel, I do not open it until I get onto the camera basically, so we open it together and we can react together if you're following along with this build. So yeah, let's open it up. I love this. This part of um, building guys on any build, the opening, the seal, it's sealed and smell of the, the model. That might sound a bit bonkers, but you just you've got that smell models off guys. And you'll know if you build, you know what I mean. Right, let's have a quick look through this week's mag. First of all, coming next week in issue 51, we're doing winches, vents, windows, grills, skylight and deck house. So that's what we're doing next week in issue 51 got some facts content here white star line origins of the myth and the ship that'd be a cool ship to build and i think you got porcelain chinese dinner service that i don't know if that was found or what would have been on the ship have a look yeah it tells you all what where that was found or what ship it was on guys there's a lot of history obviously to the titanic and it's all in these magazines for you to read between builds and now straight to this week's instructions guys as you can see we've got two lifeboats and a cutter and it looks like we've got some led lighting wiring and as i say lifeboating and some details to put on the deck so by the looks of it we may be getting that big deck back out again to apply some of these little details to the deck in here we are so yeah we're building lifeboats this week guys applying led strips and putting details onto the deck so yeah sit back relax guys enjoy this video and if you haven't already subscribe and give us a big like would really appreciate that but without further ado let's crack on and open the box of whatever we've got this week yeah and i do apologize guys for not posting as much just lately but i've been really busy it's no excuse i know but i've been really busy with work commitments family the horses we've got which are on the channel check those out and um, quickly though guys look how these are packed look at the box so cool you're not going to lose any parts as they're getting shipped to you yeah but with family etc nothing wrong with it obviously but just busy guys really busy busy and having to fit stuff into my life basically which i'm trying to get around doing that um 
which the horse spot are taking a lot of time at the minute. But that'll be in a vlog. More about that if you want to watch the vlog coming out soon, as soon as I can get to edit it. But back to this, guys. You want to be watching for the Titanic, not the horses on this video. So back to this build. Let's see what parts and pieces we've got this week. Just always make sure, guys, there's nothing left in your envelope before you throw it in the bin. And there's a lot of tiny pieces what could go missing. There you go, that's all empty. So right, let's brush these to one side and see exactly what we've got today. We've got LED cable, which is just there. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is just put them over to the right hand side of the screen and then we'll obviously get those when we need them. Uh, we've got 50B, which are these here. These are two little benches. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at the detail on these. It's amazing. So tiny, but so effective. I don't know if you can actually see on camera. There's even the ridges of like the little back of a bench, how it would look. So cool, this build is. I really do love it. And then you've got 50C, which is a dome. So that's going to be having to be fitted to the deck somewhere. And then you've got 50D, the LED strip. So we're applying more LED strip today. And you've got 50E, which is another davit arm. Which is this part here, guys. So we're going to be applying another davit arm, which I like how they're doing this, to be fair. They're, they're putting little bits of, like, for example, the davits every now and again, so you're not doing them all at once, which I think is cool, because it keeps it alive, the, the build alive. We've got 50F, which are the lifeboats. I've got two of those. And 50G, which this is a smaller lifeboat, I think. It's called a cutter. So, yeah. There you go, it's pretty cool. And I don't know if you know seen guys, but look at my hands here. Blisters everywhere. Again, watch the vlog for the horses and you'll know why I've got blisters like that. <laughs> um, right, looking at what else we've got here, 50L. Back to 50H, sorry. We've got boat support and boat support, which are, I think these pots here. Very tiny guys, very tiny. And 50J and 50K, we've got tarpaulin. Now, one of these are not going to be used. We've only got to use one, apparently. So 50K, not used, which is this one without the holes in. So I don't think we're going to be using that today, guys. But we'll just put it to one side for now. And we've got 50M, the Davit base. And then we've got some more little parts here, 50L. Uh, which these are called the life boat block gear. Yeah, so all these are going to be having to be attached today. So, first of all then, instruction one, is saying take the cutter 50G, which is this one here. So this is the smallest one. If you want to go by that, it's the smallest boat we've got. So we've got 50G, and we've got to take 50H and 50I, which are these two parts here, guys. Now, I think, to work out which ones are which, because they do all look very similar, the point in a certain way, I think. So let's just get all these four and choose which one we need. Yeah, so basically it's these two. If you can see, they're both pointing in like that. So if I just place those there for a second, 50L are not. They're just vertically straight. That's how I work it out anyway, guys. Little tip for you there. Plus, just look at the diagram. So we don't need those as yet. We need 50H and 50I. So we've got to take the cutter, which is this part here, and just see if we need glue. Yeah, we've got a glue. What I'll do is I'll do a dry fit first, just to show you guys. So they're going to be in there like that. That's 50H. And the 50i, and that is what that's going to look like, guys, when they're in. So, we're just going to get a tiny bit of glue and then glue those into the cutter. So, I'll just get the glue. And, guys, do bear with me if it is a bit noisy in the background. It's like 
the building site on our estate at the minute. Um, we've been living here now five years and story short, the main road at the end of our street, which we live in like a quiet road basically, but there's a main road at the end of the street. What they've decided now is they're gonna resurface that, well, redig it up and resurface it after five years. It's a brand new estate. It's only been built five years. Why they've got to do that, I don't know. And they're resurfacing the road or rebuilding the road, should I say. So yeah, if it's a bit noisy in the background with these videos for the next couple of weeks, bear with. Well, I say weeks, guys. Do you know, they reckon it's going to take until Christmas this year, which I find bonkers. But back to this build. There we go. That's instruction one done. So we've applied 50H, the left one, 50I, the right one, and this is 50G, basically the cutter. Um, the smallest of the three boats, as you can see by looking on the screen now these are the other two boats and you can see they're a lot more bigger than the one we've just built so yeah that's the cutter all done so we'll put that at the top for now and again obviously apply a little bit of glue guys when you're putting 50 h and 50 i parts on let's turn the page over now what we're doing now is take one of the lifeboats which we've got here and what it wants us to do is attach 50J, which is the tarpaulin. And this is the one with the holes either side, guys. Um, and I'm just going to read, do not use any glue at this stage. We do not need to apply glue to these guys. So all you do with these, and I think you've seen these in previous issues, if you hear that click, that's the tarpaulin on. And then we've got to get 50L and 50, yeah, they're both called 50L. Those are these parts here. So there's two 50Ls. I've just got to basically put these in the holes. Like so. And that is instruction two all done. Pretty cool. So it's another lifeboat done. We'll put that at the top there. Now we're into instruction three. Take the boat deck assembly from previous issue, which I've just showed you at the beginning of the video, guys. Position it carefully so that you can access the underside which you can see in the diagram here identify the position for the led strip 50d which is this part here guys and then what we've got to do is where you can see this little red rectangular shape we've got to apply 50d the led strip to the under of the deck now guys please be careful when you're doing this because this could damage a lot of your details on the upper side of the deck so just leaning over here to get the deck and what we're going to do is sorry i'm off camera here guys bring it in like so it's huge this is it's absolutely huge and basically where it's saying put the led strip it looks like we're going to be putting it here guys as you can see just there tell a lie there I make the mistake so you don't guys if you can see the diagram there you've got this circle which is there and if you move over look you've got another circle which is there and then you've got these clips that is where 50d the led strip is going to be going so i've applied the deck in here guys i've got the strip in my hands that was instruction three telling you where we put in this strip now instruction four as with previous strips fit one edge beneath the tab so basically what it's telling us to do have it this way around guys so you've got the connectors pointing towards your body and what it's telling you to do is put the one side under the little tabs you've got first line it up with the little grooves in the deck and then what you do is gently push it into the other pieces but being careful at the minute because you've got a lot of details under this decking which you do not want to damage it's not too hard guys as you can see so to make sure one side in first and then gently a little bit of a persuasion if it's not going in just carefully try and get the tab like that and just lift it a tiny bit and they will go in easy as that guys and that is instruction four all done
but do be careful because these are very easy to break and you do not want to break these led strips or else you're going to have to order some off back issues but so far so good guys that's that led strip done we've got another two led strips there along look at this guys it's so huge this this thing is massive and we're nowhere near done yet this is the top of it but right without me gabbling on how big this ship's gonna be let me just move this off camera i think we're gonna need it again in a minute to fit a davit but we'll look at instruction five take the davit arm which is this part here and the davit base so it's 50e and 50m so these two pieces here guys and then what it's time to do is attach those together and glue them and then what we're going to do when we've glued those two pieces together to make the davit and the base we're going to attach them to the deck so we need the glue again again follow the the instructions guys you can see where it's telling you to put things by looking at the red circles and the arrows so if we just apply a tiny bit of glue on that davit arm and then just make sure you've got this the right way around so you want this little pin thing here sticking up and then what we do is get the davit arm apply it into these holes you've put some glue on so it should stick within seconds so that's where we're looking at that davit arm that's how that looks and if i just put this lid back on the glue which we're going to need again in a second and then before I bring the decking back in, guys, if you just look, this is where we're applying this dab it. We've just built this part here. We're applying it there on the deck with a tiny bit of glue. So if I bring the deck in, you can see you've got two holes here. We're just moving along. And I think this is going to be a continuous thing over time. We're going to be applying these dab it's throughout or on the ship throughout time of this build. So we want a bit of glue just on these two pins here. Just be careful not to make that mess anywhere. And then quickly look, the davit on the diagram there is facing that way. So just carefully apply it to the two holes in the deck. Again, you've got one pin bigger than the other, so you'll know which holes to put them in, guys. And carefully just push that in. You might find it a bit difficult if you've put your, your deck in over the hole, but they will go in, guys. That's how they look underneath. Just carefully push it into the decking you've uh, put on previously, and that will be the finished result there for instruction five. There you go, pretty cool. These davits are all taking place now. So we'll turn the page over. And now we're applying the benches, guys. Which is this going to be looking cool? So, instruction six take two benches 50B, as you can see in the diagrams. Identify the fixing point on the central section of the boat deck 44B. So, that is going to be let me just get my bearings here. Here, that's where the first bench is going to go, guys. So, if I just put this on the desk. And we're probably going to need tweezers for these because it's so tiny, these benches. I don't think you're going to be able to put them on your fingers. So, if just hold that there like so. Just apply a tiny bit of glue. Again, guys, use a cocktail stick or something if you want to do it more finer than this. As you can see, I'm concentrating. <laughs> So yeah, we're applying it just here in these two holes here. So we'll just push that bench into there. That should dry in seconds. There you go. It's the first bench done. <laughs> it's little details like that, guys. What's making this build pop so good. And then 50B, as you can see by the diagram, is going to the holes next to the bench we've just applied. It just gives you such a sense of um, happiness, well-being doing this build. I really do love it, guys. I really do. I hope you're enjoying it as well. And if you are and you've not already subscribed, please, I don't just say that for 
a plea just to subscribe guys come along with me on this build and see this finished result in a few years time how it's going to look that's what i was concentrating on that's why my voice went a bit different but there we go we've got the two benches that's instruction six done look at that well done so far i should say look at the benches there man that looks so cool Right, so if I just move the book up a little bit, we'll leave the deck in here. What it's telling us to do now, glue the tabs on the bench, we've done that, um, as shown. Position the dome, 50C, which is in the diagram, inside this square surround on the aft section of 49B. Right, okay. So if I gently bring this over. Sorry guys, I'm just twisting things about everywhere. This is where it wants this part, guys. Let me just get this down. Do not glue. Right, so this part here on this diagram has got to go in there. So we've just got to place that in there, guys. We haven't got to glue it today because we're bound to have to move it in future. So now we haven't got to glue it. So that's got to fit in there like that. And, guys, that is it for this week. I do hope you've enjoyed it. So the dome's there. We've done that. Let me just gently twist this decking round. So tight this desk, guys. We've got two little benches there. And as you can see by my thumb, guys, look how small these are. Look how small these pieces are. And then we've got the davit we fitted also. So, guys, that is it for this week. I do hope you enjoyed it. So, if I just place that there. And what we haven't used this week is tarpaulin, a lifeboat. Oh, we built this as well, guys. We did these two lifeboats, the cutter and the big lifeboat. So yeah, and we've got the LED wire we haven't used as yet. So yeah, that is it for this week, guys. Subscribe for more. Give us a big like. Peace. That is it for this week's issue, guys. We've built the Titanic from Ash at Parkworks. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give us a big like, guys. We really appreciate that. And if you're not already, please subscribe and press the bell notification not to miss out on any future builds of the Titanic or any other video upcoming on my channel. Today, what we've done is just put more details on the decking of the Titanic. Guys, this build is huge, man. It's massive. I love this build. You know I do, guys. And if you want to come along with me, please subscribe, like, comment, and feel free to share the video to whoever you want to share it to. Friends, family, anybody, guys. Just anyone in the street. Just tell them to watch Rich for free. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys. There'll be more Titanic next week from Ashford Parkworks. Come back and join me. Meanwhile, watch the other videos on my channel. For an example, Elvis shorts as well, guys. Some pretty cool Elvis shorts on my channel. Brilliant music. It's a passion of mine, Elvis. I do love Elvis, man. For the last year, I've just lived Elvis through and through. Check his shorts out, guys. I try and put one or two up weekly. But back to the videos and the builds. I'm going to try and be more consistent, guys. There's a vlog coming out about the horses soon as well, when I get round to editing it. And I'm going to tell you on there why I've not been posting as much the last couple of weeks and months. But for now, guys, that is it for the Titanic Bill from Ashford Parkworks. Thanks for joining me. Come back next time. See you later. Peace.